Andrew, man, is a heck of an athlete. Uh, I, I, I hope to get some at the Rick, man. He got some nice moves. Coach Chu gave me a phone call one night. He's one of the new assistants, and he used to be an AAU coach in Kansas City. They kind of said, hey, you know, there's a kid over in football that could help us, could play, and we got word that he was interested in it. So, uh, you know, I took the word of our players and said he could play. So he came out and worked out with us a couple times, and uh, and I didn't. I asked him, I said, don't give us an answer right away. If you want to do it, just come back to us. It didn't take me but, you know, five seconds to say yes, because, I mean, what, every single kid on the team wants to do it, and I just I feel real lucky because I'm like, they're a representative out there because I'm a football player playing basketball. The last Missouri athlete to play both football and basketball was Justin Gage. Two sports in one day. That's a lot to juggle. Yeah, I'm exhausted. I've been up since 9 o'clock for shoot-around and pregame meal, and then I came here. And I think it's great that he's making a contribution to basketball. Uh, we, we've understood today, before football practice started, that he had two points today, the first scores he's ever had as a Missouri Tiger in basketball. And so that the team was chanting and all excited. And AJ, 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 AJ. Watch him shoot that free throw. Once that first one went in, the locker room went wild. He did his little signature fist pump, got everybody alive. And man, I think it's just cool to see him out there. I really couldn't feel anything. I, I just knew I was going to clink it off the back iron or bank it in or shoot an air ball. But fortunately, they both went in. And I was just real excited because I've been waiting you know, to do that since I was a kid. And then come straight from the game to a football practice, catching nice plays and stuff. Pump fake and a throw to the corner of the end zone. Gage again. Growing up when I was a kid, like if you weren't Justin Gage, then you weren't anything. He's a local guy too from Missouri, and I mean, who wouldn't want to be like him? He's a great role model and example for future kids. And I just, I'm just really lucky that this happened to me, and he kind of just fell onto my lap, and I'm just, you know, soaking it all up, and I'm really excited. And I'm, as soon as I get done with football, I'm gonna turn all my focus to basketball and work as hard as I can, just in case they need me or to. If I just help out in practice, that's fine with me as long as I'm helping out um, Ricardo and the big guys down low. He loves Mizzou so much. He's so loyal to this place that uh, he is really looking forward to playing basketball uh, when, this, when this game's over. So uh, great kid, great Missouri Tiger, and, uh, and you know, people are going to see him. Once I guarantee when he gets on that court, he, uh, he will compete. He's got a competitive spirit about him, obviously, with a little bit of, like I, guess, I wouldn't say football mentality, but he does, and, and sometimes – you know, you got to have that, but he's a great for us in terms of on the practice court. He brings energy. Now he's got to focus on football here until after the bowl game, and I want him to do that, and we'll get him back after that.